Hey guys, it's Thunder Mario Brother back again with more Let's Play Paper Mario. We are standing right outside the starship right now, except I'm on the bad screen. Why? Because you're going to want to take off ice power right now, if you haven't already. And probably zap top if you have that on too, because most of the enemies in the coming chapter are not going to be attacking you physically. And if they do, they're in shell. So anyway, I'm going to put on spike shield for reasons you'll see in a bit. And look at this sequence coming up. I actually like this a lot. Are you ready to take off? Yes, we are. And here we go. Up, up, and away to infinity and beyond. That, I, li I like those colors. They actually look pretty cool. Anyway. Look, a shooting star. Princess, come back. Princess, come back. Princess, come back. Did you whisper something? I hope your dreams come true. Me too. And basically, all the people in this general area wish for stuff. I want to see the princess. I want to see the princess. I want to see the princess. Back off, Bubba. She's mine. And why'd I say Bubba? <laughs> I want to eat swoom cake. I want to eat swoom cake. I want to eat tons and tons of swoom cake. Oh, shooting star. Please fulfill my wishes. Pretty please. I right, sound like Elmer Fudd. Anyway, we're still going and going and we sped up randomly. Now, here's something that doesn't make sense. We fly straight into the mouth of the bottom of Bowser's castle. Why didn't we just fly straight up to the top tower and get Princess Peach and get the heck out of there? Anyway, Chapter 8, the Star Power Showdown. God, I wonder who the boss of this chapter is going to be. I, I have no idea. Anyway, here we are. We're at Bowser's castle, the final dungeon of the game. Let's go ahead and go through here. There's a save block, as you can see. Now, there's a bridge leading straight into that door, but... Oh, like we saw in the inter interlude, Bowser's batting down the hatches and we can't get in there yet. There's a badge block over there, but we can't get that yet either. But, as good as their security may be, they left this door wide open. Great job, guys. You are amazing. And here we have a new enemy, the Koopa Troll, and this is why I said put the Spike Shield badge on, because these guys have spikes on their head, and that can be annoying. Anyway, they're basically like any other Koopa, except with a lot of defense, a lot of attack power, and a spike on their head, basically meaning that they're nothing like any other Koopa. I would have flipped that one over, but I want to show his the timing on his attack. There you go. Anyway, oh boy, we get extra power and we don't even need it. You know, this spell's been really crappy for me in this whole game. I don't know why it did that. I, it's usually really helpful. It should be helpful for pretty much anyone, even no matter how good they are at the game, but whatever. Anyway, there we get the castle key already. And over here, imprisoned toads, I'm coming to save you. Anyway, now we have to continue out out back. Let's go out back tonight. Wait, this isn't the back, this is the front, but whatever. Anyway, Castle Key. Continuing along. I actually like this dungeon a lot, just the look and feel of it and everything. There's like cranking gears, it basically showing how the entire castle works. It's pretty cool. Alright, I went ahead and cut out that fight. Nothing really to show there. Um, but continuing along, there's gonna be a ton of enemies, especially Koopa trolls in this place, so. Anyway, here's a good tactic to use against them if you're not afraid to be wasteful of some FP and some star power. Go ahead and use Star Storm. Yay! And then you can use Lackaluster's Spiny Surge to take them all out in one turn, which is really easy, so there you go. And I just cut out like four seconds of footage of me getting the star points, whatever. Anyway, going on in the background, it's like scooping lava or whatever, for whatever reason. Um, I'm probably going to come back and fight these guys later, just for the experience. Oh, crap. Here's a new enemy. Oh, I didn't get a first strike. I was trying to hit him with a hammer there. Anyway, these are hammer bros, as if you didn't know what a hammer bro was. And that's a typo. It says hammer bros when you're looking at one of them. Oh, well. Um, yeah, why not go ahead and do spiny surge? I'm not gonna kill either of them on, on this turn anyway. It's probably a waste, but whatever. Anyway, yeah, they can throw hammers at you and they'll decrease your attack power, which sucks a lot. 
anyway, try to power bounce on this guy. And power bouncing on him as a mini Mario does like the same amount of damage. Because a normal jump wouldn't have killed him there. And I'm wasting a lot of FP, hooray! Anyway, yeah, they have a whole bunch of different attacks. And that one is very powerful, okay. Jump, Mario! And they have a bunch of defense, and these are Koopas that can't be flipped over, so... Yeah, and this is why you don't want the Zap Tap badge. These guys just throw stuff at you, the Koopa Troll hit you in their shell, and... Spoilers, Magic Koopas fire magic at you, so... Nobody's really gonna touch you... Uh, per se, in this dungeon. Anyway, coming through here... Blah, welcome, worm! I'm called the Gardor of Bowser's Castle. That's a nice name, Gardor Bowser's Castle. How you doing? It's my job to keep suspicious types from entering. You must be Mario. Let me guess. Do you want to go through here? Hmm. You want to get to the other side of this wall, right? Yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> Stand in front of me. Sounds easy enough, right? Are you standing squarely in front of me? Okay, then. I'll let you go through. The floor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, here we are in prison with the toads that we saw earlier. <laughs> you fell for it. You'll never escape from that impenetrable prison. Try all you like. All you do is exhaust yourself. Tell you what, if I make it, if you make it back up here, I'll let you go through. How's that? <laughs> I know you'll never make it. I hope you have a good time shaking and crying down there. <laughs> Well, shaking and crying down here is not what Mario likes to do. And there's a heart block there, so thank you, Bowser, for being stupid. Let's talk to these prisoners. Oh, Mario, you came at long last. As you can see, we're in a horrible situation. Princess Peach is who knows where. Her beautiful castle is being run by Bowser's horde staff of rejects. Nothing fills me with joy than serving this castle with my heart and soul, but right now there's nothing I can do. You have no choice but to rely on you. Please save our princess. This wouldn't have happened if we'd had better defenses. I don't know how I can ever apologize to Princess Peach. It doesn't matter. Saving her is all that counts now. Yeah, if you guys haven't noticed, Toads kind of suck in every single game ever. I hope there's a Toad partner in Paper Mario 4 just to prove that they're not completely worthless. Here we go. It's a piece of cape to break these walls. The material's weak. These are much easier than the walls of Cooper Bros. Fortress. You're really lucky you have me along, aren't you? Cocky old Bombet. Ah, you're the best. Anyway, it's kind of sad that the material's weaker than it is in Koopa Bros. Fortress, because they're, like, immature and stoof like that. And they were probably really bad at building that castle, but anyway, yeah. Kind of sad. I love blowing random things up. Anyway, here, these platforms are going to sink slowly. I made it on the first try, guys! Yay! I can do simple platforming! Anyway... Um, just like we could ride Locker Lester across spikes, we can also ride him across lava. And go ahead and hit the switch, and it makes that platform over there move. But there is something that I forgot to do right over here. You go slower on lava, which is super annoying. I might have to speed this part up a bit. But, if you come over here, drop down that ledge, we get to go slowly for ten years. <laughs> come on. I like how his clouds, like, straining to continue on, and so is Lackalus, so that's kind of funny, and Mario's just like, move faster, noob. Anyway, we're full on health, but over here, we get a life shroom, and I guess I'll, oh, by the way, I got a whole bunch of Wacka's bumps, if you go back to, um, Mount Rugged and hit the Wacka over and over, you can keep getting Wacka bumps. Until he just, like, leaves forever until you kill him. Yes. Anyway, there is still something out here. Come on. Let's go, Lucky Lester. Mm. Might even have to cut part of this out. I don't know. But we're outside the castle once again. But we don't get fresh air because we're on top of lava and it stinks and it's hot. You know what else stinks and is hot? Cocoa puffs in a microwave. Mm. Anyway, here we get a deep focus badge that has a different skin than usual, and that totally wasn't worth it at all, but at least I showed it. Anyway, cutting back to the platforming bit. Okay, here we are, back at the place where we made the platform move. Come on! The tornado jumps don't stop this thing like they did the platforms in Toad Town Tunnels. 
Anyway, there's something in here, but we can't quite get to it yet, so we are going to have to trek through this dungeon and see what we can do to make ourselves able to get it. But I think we're running a little bit low on time right now, guys, so I'll have to save that for the next part, or maybe the next few parts, or maybe however many parts it takes to complete this dungeon. Anyway, I will see you next time on Paper Mario, where we continue through Bowser's Castle.